What's up everybody? I am back with yet another install on the 350Z. Today we're gonna be installing the steering wheel. I'm sure you guys guessed that by the title by now. I kinda lost my voice. I went to Six Flags with my brother and sister yesterday, so don't mind my voice being a little raspy today. Um, I'm gonna get started right now. Let me just show you what we had. I was able to get the uh, quick release and the steering wheel off of a guy that was parting out his car. Um, so like I don't have to install any of that when it comes to the steering wheel but um i did have to get my own hub because the guy didn't um his hub was not compatible with mine every car has its own hub so it's very specific it's vehicle specific i did not know that that was my biggest mistake it's a it's a fairly cheap mod um i'm gonna get started let's go to the car all right so first things first go to your battery and disconnect oh. disconnect your um negative terminal from the battery this way you won't this way you won't have any issues with your air airbag going off on you all right once you have your battery disconnected there's two bolts um behind the steering wheel that's holding the airbag so what you want to do is um just unbolt those two bolts and then um the airbag should come right out and since we disconnected the battery there's no electricity so the airbag shouldn't go off on you but be safe you know what i mean so the two bolts that are holding the airbag is right here. It's, there's a little clip and you just unclip it. And there's one on this side and then there's one on the other side. I don't know what to use. I was digging at it with a nine millimeter. I got one out, um, time to do the other side. All right, so once you got both uh, bolts removed, um, I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, there you go. See, the airbag should just come right out, which, okay, fuck my life. Okay, I didn't even have an airbag. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even have an airbag. This just shows you never know what you're buying when you buy a car. And with this car, I'm not even surprised at this point. Um, this is the horn. This, this should come out, but um, our next step right now is to take this 19 millimeter out. Apparently, you should not take all of, take it out all the way because you're gonna kind of use it as leverage to get this out so it doesn't hit you in the face. I don't know. Um, I'm a rookie. I'm I'm learning with you guys basically. So like, oh my god, this car. Let's get to it. I don't know why. It was impossible to get out. I got it out eventually though. So, if your ratchet doesn't work, this should definitely work. Loosen this as much as you can, and then once you get the steering wheel halfway out, just make sure to disconnect your horn, which is, which is that right there. All right, so this is what it should look like. Um, I have everything in the middle. Um, I made sure this and this are lined up which they are. Um, now I have to decide what I want to do with these. Like, do I want to put these resistors in there um, so I don't get the light? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try, see if it's an easy fix. If not, I'm not even gonna um, worry about it to be completely honest. Um, it is what it is. All right, so, so far I just put the bolt, uh, the 19 millimeter in, um, made it as tight as I could. This isn't moving anywhere, so that's in right now. With these, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna cut the wire and um, I'm gonna try to do my own thing with my tools. Um, I'll either use electrical tape or try to use these and get this to fit in there. Um, it's just worth a shot without before giving up and completely. But so far, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, um, this is my first time ever installing a steering wheel and um, you boys learning. All right, so I finished putting the resistors on both of these um <laughs> i'll see if it works at the very end i'm hopeful i am i'm really hopeful so we'll see if this works um now next up i gotta figure out how to do the horn which is um this goes into that so that's really straightforward but i gotta somehow figure out where i'm gonna attach this because um this is the ground and i need to find metal to mount it to so like that's my next step i might have to sand this and just like somehow like have it 
I have it there. We'll see. We're learning all together. This is what this is what this DIY is. We're learning together. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is um, I sanded this portion of it. Um, I'm gonna cut cut this wire off, expose the wire, and then get one of these flathead looking guys. It's either this one I'm gonna go with, or or this one, and just bolt it there um, and do that honestly this is what I was talking about this is the invention I came up with hopefully it works I'm like praying all my fabricating was not for nothing um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws and then get this on there and then somehow squish this in between this and this and then um, I am not giving up. I am, I'm gonna make this work somehow. <laughs> I've never fabricated so much for a project, but um, so I just finished putting all the all six screws in. Um, I went with the first, I went with screwing the bottom in first just because I had to adjust it a little bit and make sure the fork looking thing wasn't like moving out of place. So um, I did that. I got the rest of the mount installed. So now the only thing I have left to do is hook this in place and it's already installed like everything's already hooked on so like literally i gotta slide it in um which i am about to do there you go guys it's in so now next up all i gotta do is plug the negative terminal back into the battery and then start the car and pray everything works all right so i got good news and i got bad news um i'll start off with the bad news because Unfortunately, all that fabricating for the uh, airbag did not work. But the good news, my horn works. Thank God. slash DIY like I learned with you guys all throughout the video so like everything that you saw was brand new for me I have another video coming up on the Z this is probably gonna be my favorite I've been waiting on this for like ever it's really appropriate for the Z stay tuned for that video um, in the meantime bros ladies be patient and trust the process I'll see you guys next week. Tell me pretty lights, look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care.